Hi friends, welcome to another week in preschool. Today it's make someone smile day. So please draw a picture and give it to someone or send it to someone who you know has been in the house for a while, whether it's a grandma or a grandpa, maybe an aunt or uncle. Just make someone smile by drawing them a nice picture today. Thank you. All right, let's get started for meeting with our Brain Smart Start. You are sitting on your bottoms. Your legs are crisscrossed. Your hands are in your laps. Your mouths are quiet. Your eyes are on me. And you are ready to listen. Good morning, good morning, and how do you do? Good morning, good morning, I'm fine, how about you? I'm fine too. Let's start our week off with a wave. So let's start with our big hello kind of wave. Ready? Hello friends. I'm so happy you're back. All right, now I need your help counting on the calendar. Are you ready? Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Let's do our pattern. Flower, tulip, B. Flower, tulip, B. Flower, tulip, B. Flower, tulip. Tulip is next on the 11. So yesterday was Sunday, and it was Mother's Day. I hope you were all nice to your mothers. Today is Monday, May 11th. And today it's going to be another rainy day. So let's sing about rainy. Rainy, 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 it is rainy. R-A-I-N-Y, it's rainy, it is rainy outside. Thank you. Let's stand up and do our school family chant. I reach up, I reach down, I look at my friends all around, I see you. You see me, we're a school family. And oh, our animals are gone. I hope you enjoyed your farm field trip on Friday when I wasn't here. And now our board is empty again. So let's figure out what letter we might be doing next. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, hmm. Our next letter has a big line and one little curve. So let's start our letter at the top by the happy face and we do our big line down and then we jump back up to the top and do our little curve. So big line down, jump back up to the top little curve. It's our letter P. And I like the sound of P because it makes my lips feel like they go pop. So if you can pop your lips, you can do the sound for P. P, 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 P. Let's find out a little bit more about our letter P. First, we need to write it. And remember, it is one big line down and one little curve. And we always start at the top. Start at the happy face, big line down, jump back to the top, little curve. That's our letter P. And remember, the sound it makes sounds like your lips are popping. So penguin starts with the P sound. Hmm, this girl's laying in bed and she's covered with a quilt. Nope, quilt. How about pan? Pan 
starts with the p sound. How about backpack? Hmm, backpack. I hear it in the middle, but it doesn't start with that sound. Ooh, how about this? I like to eat this. It's pizza. Pizza starts with the p sound. So pizza, pan, and penguin all start with the p sound for the letter P. And you happen to have a penguin to color today. I know most penguins are black and white, but you can color it whatever color you want. Sometimes penguins have a little bit of yellow on them, or you can just pick a color. And you can color his feet orange, yellow, up to you. His beak can be a different color. They're not usually blue, but I'm using my blue marker. Color in his whole belly. Keep going. I know you can fill the whole thing in. Now let's do our P sound box. It has an uppercase P and a lowercase P and they look the same. They're just a little bit different in shape, but they both have a big line and a little curve. So let's open our sound box and see what's inside. Oh, I found a pickle, a pig, which happens to be my favorite animal, pizza, a paintbrush, ooh, I like to paint, a pumpkin, pumpkins are usually a lot bigger than this, and a pan that you would cook on the stove. Pan, pumpkin, pizza, paintbrush, pickle, and pig all start with the sound for the letter P. All right, and now we need to sing our color. <gasps> starts with the p sound and the letter P. It has one, two P's in the purple. So let's get started with purple. Or you might have technical. Hold on, I have a chord I'm done. I told you before, sometimes I make mistakes. It's okay to make mistakes. We learn from our mistakes. All right, now let's get ready to start the song, Purple. If you're wearing purple, raise your hand because we're going to read a book and sing the song about the color purple. P-U-R-P-L-E, purple. Trapezoid. I love flying kites, but my kite isn't diamond shaped. It's a trapezoid. A trapezoid? What is a trapezoid? Oh, there is Lloyd the trapezoid on the rooftop. Hi, Lloyd. 
Have you ever seen a trapezoid? A trapezoid. A trapezoid. Have you ever seen a trapezoid? Well, I think you have. On rooftops and lampshades and wheelbarrows and handbags. Have you ever seen a trapezoid? Well, I think you have. Have you ever seen a trapezoid? A trapezoid, a trapezoid. Have you ever seen a trapezoid? Well, I think you have. On rooftops and lampshades and wheelbarrows and handbags. Have you ever seen a trapezoid? Well, I think you have. Alright, all you trapezoid kids, it's time for you to sing. Have you ever seen a trapezoid? A trapezoid, a trapezoid. Have you ever we're going to do our nursery rhyme, which is Little Miss Muffet. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider and sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Nice job. Thanks for doing meeting with me. Put your hands on your head so we can do some balloon breaths before we leave. Take a deep breath in through your nose to fill the balloon. Let the air out slow. Number two, in through your nose. Out through your mouth. Number three, in through your nose. Out through your mouth. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.